How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Angels Bob's Plus here in Factorio Land. Hope you guys have been enjoying the series. If you have, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, turn on notifications, the whole nine yards. Other than that, let's get right into the episode. Episode 49? Pretty sure. About 70% sure. Awesome. So, in the last episode, we started to kind of get into the next portion of what we need to do uh, to get into modules, as you can see here. And notice, pretty much have everything we need except for these crystals. Well, in this case, the polished blue crystal splinter, the green crystal splinter, and then the red one. So, RGB, basically, of the splinters. So in order to do them, we need this polluted fish water. Well, in order to do that, we need to make fish, but we need nutrient pulp. And to get the nutrient pulp, we need some sort of product. In our case, I just picked beans arbitrarily. Um, and then we're working out how to do the beans. Gotta get beans. They're not just good for your heart. They're also apparently good to make fish. Huh. Apparently we can combine raw meat. Interesting. All right. So, we need to make one of these basic farms. Well, we need to make soil. So let me go ahead and drag some more power over here. Let's actually shift this over. Well, I say over, but shift it up into the gap. And go like that, yeah. And we'll just extend it about there, and then we'll have some power down here for us to, to play with. And then we'll, we'll, get, we'll get a final design going once we're uh, somewhat sure on how we want to do it. So we'll just do this. So... So I looked, and there's two recipes we can do for this soil. We can either do soil with mud and compost, or we can do soil with sand and compost. And remember, we can make compost with just some wood, a one-to-one. -one. So that's why we brought the wood down here, is to make the compost. So we can make the soil, just like a so. And we can go ahead and take our compost, then feed it into our sand. Well, we can either do sand or the mud. I'll probably do the mud. Uh, actually, I, I don't know which one I'll do. Maybe I'll do a combination of both. Because the mud, I believe we can turn it into landfill. Actually, well, I don't think... Uh, can we do mud directly in the landfill? I don't know if it's mud directly. Yeah, yeah, mud directly turns into landfill. However, the stone is a good way to use up a lot of that crushed stone. But we do mud into landfill. We can also do... Um, Several different things. Let's go ahead and throw the compost in here. So it is a one to two with this method. Uh, if we do the other one, however, it's a one to one. So one wood to one compost is probably what we'll do just to save on the wood overall because it is one wood to one compost. And then if it's one uh, one mud in one compost, effectively one wood. So one one mud, one wood equals one sand or soil rather. Yeah. Um, not the, I don't think we're going to be needing to make it that often for, for the uh, farm, but we'll see. Alright, so now we have a farm. Uh, so it looks like now we should be able to make a few different things, it appears. Let me actually take a look. So if I do beans... Interesting. Uh, can we not make what we need yet? I feel like we should be able to. Okay, farming. Compost or soil. Okay, so that looks like there's some desert farming. Oh, crap. You know what it looks like? We're going to have to be doing a few more things. So we might not actually get right into it this episode. We might have to do some research first. So notice how... Uh, let's see. I don't know. I'll just pick this one. We need... Alien plant life samples in order to get to some of these things. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So if I want to get to beans, just hypothetically, unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can just research beans. Hmm. This has become even more complicated than I thought. Is there... Okay, so it looks like... Oh, okay, so farming product attains... Okay, so we need Bionifran or Zombie Psych Bullet, whatever. 
So we need bio or the zombie one. All right, so let's go bio. All right, so farming. All right, so here's the zombie one. And then oh, I think the desert one produces, yeah, the bio friend. Okay, so we either need sand, saline, and the seed. Or mud, the seed, and heavy mud water. I mean, okay, so I, either way, we're pretty much just using the things we already have. Uh, pretty much a lot of, really. I mean, I, either one of those. But honestly, I think the heavy mud water will be the easier one to do because it's already a byproduct we're getting. So I think this will probably be the one we go for. All right, so it looks like we'll need to do some sort of seeds. So we need to get the zombie seed. Well, how do we make the zombie seed from that? Okay, I'm guessing we're going to have to find it somehow. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll, we'll figure it out. Okay, so we might have to go hunt for some plants in order to get this. So to get these alien samples, how do we do that to research? Don't know if we've quite gotten there yet. I will say, I like that we could produce or convert this nutrient pulp into a whole bunch of different things that we could potentially need. Uh, desert, no. Hmm. Let's see. Where, where? Okay, so if we go back one, it's got to be in here, right? Uh, well, you know what? Let's just let's go ahead and look in this. It's probably in here, right? So we need to make. Well, you know what? The alien plant samples, yeah. So, for instance, if we just do, I don't know, just say this. We... Oh, it takes these ingredients. I thought... Intro? Okay, well, that's not what I thought we would get. Uh... Well, shoot. How? Yeah, okay. Well, that didn't answer what I thought. Um... <laughs> Okay, bioprocessing is a little bit more uh, more in depth than I quite initially thought. So in order to get this, the swamp farming, we need to research this. But in order to research this, we need some samples. Here we go. So if we get a seed extractor made, we should be able to get these things somehow. Okay, so let's let's see if we can go ahead and find some of these plant life, like some of these gardens. Yeah. So if we scroll out a little bit, actually, you know what? We might be able to see them on the map. So for instance, right here, there is a swamp garden. So we get. A swamp garden, and we get some seeds. Interesting. Okay. So luckily they appear as green. Okay, so here's another one. Just to the west. So let's head over there. And see which one it is. Ooh, ooh that's actually might be the, what, the temperate one. Is that the one we need? It's not quite the one we need, but it is one we can use right uh i guess so then if we do where is here uh a tonkin sassafras yeah okay so then okay so if we go back here and then where's the farming farming okay so to get this we need these, right? Which means we need the zombie, the zombie one. Awesome. So to get the zombie one, we can get zombie from. Actually, not sure how we get the zombie. I'm, I'm sure we probably get it through some. Okay, so it looks right right here. Advanced swamp seed extraction. Okay, so it's it's a process of what appears to be some sort of seed crossbreeding. We're gonna have to do. So that's going to be a little bit a little bit tedious, perhaps, but I think we'll be able to get it. What are we waiting on for this? Oh, yeah, right. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that research just so we can get some other researches going. Uh, just, I guess, while we wait. Oh, let's get the, ooh, let's get the modular armor. That's going to be really helpful for us. All right. So then we need a seed extractor. So let's just go ahead and get one made. Uh, we'll just, I don't know, plop, plop it down anywhere down here, I guess. I'll just go ahead and power that up. 
Alright, so then it looks like we can make seedlings, right, from the wood. Or we can make some alien plant samples. So if we go ahead and make an alien plant sample, that is incredibly slow. Oh jeez. I was I was assuming that was gonna be really fast. Okay. Well, I guess while that's doing its thing, let's go ahead and look for more of these, because I think we're going to need them. Hopefully without crashing too, too much into the rocks. Okay, so it looks like there's one... Is it this thing? Puffer nest. I don't think it's the puffer nest. Interesting. So it looks like they're fairly spread out. Some of them are a little more distant than others. Um, yeah, it looks like you gotta go quite a ways just to get to one of them. Okay. Yeah, so the other ones are like trees, like alien biome trees, it looks like. So nothing directly needed, I guess, right now. Yeah, I don't see any more in range, it looks like, unfortunately. Okay, so I guess we'll just try to see what we can get done with these two, and if we need more, we'll... We'll go hunt for them. Alright, so let's head back up. Let's see if the seed extractor is done. No, jeez. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and make another one just to get this other temperate garden going. I didn't quite realize that that was gonna go as slow as it is. Uh, I think it's this one. No, it's the temperate one. Let's go there. Okay, so well, those are doing their thing. They're incredibly slow. We'll. If we eventually need to make that into a like a loop of some kind, we'll definitely use beacons for that. Because I don't really see myself wanting to wait around too much for that. Yeah, so let's harvest this tree up. Let's see, is there any more green there? It looks like there's ooh, it looks like there's something over here on the coal. So let's head over there. Let's go ahead and add a ping to it, just so that I can more or less see where I'm heading over here on the map. Uh, let's see, can I make some? Yes, we can. Oh, perfect. Plenty. Awesome. Let's make sure we switch to it. And we'll zoom out just so I don't have to, well, rather, all of us don't have to experience the slightly annoying sound that the uh, nanobots produce when they're chopping trees down. I mean, it's still going to be quite deafening, but it shouldn't be nearly as bad. Uh, so we'll continue down our path here. Just well, rather we're making our path through through the wilderness. So I guess while we slowly cut through the trees, let's go ahead and look for kind of the things we need. So right now, we're, what we're doing is we're making these alien samples, which are going to let us be able to research some of the other stuff we need. And then hopefully from that, we can get the seeds we need to be able to make. the beans, which should then in turn make us uh, the pulp, the nutrient pulp we need. Awesome. I guess now we're through that field. Ooh, let's take a look at whatever is over here first. Oh, it just looks like inserters and some belts. A bunch of trees. Unless it chopped it. No? Uh, yeah, I don't think it, what we were looking for was here. That was very unfortunate. Let's see, yeah, and it doesn't appear as though there's any. No, oh, there's a blue one. Let's go check. I don't know what this blue one is. I don't know if that's something else, because it looked like the green ones were. The little forest things we needed, and then the other ones were something else. Oh, it's a sort of tree. A temperate tree. Oh, that's a lot of wood. Okay, so the blue ones must be good trees. Okay, see, we're, le we're learning. Oh, yeah, see, look at that. Massive swamp tree. I don't quite know if that gives us what we need, but... Let's see. Looking for green dots. Not the natural gas dots, but they're kind of small. They're they're these two dots. I guess we'll drive down and around. Oh, there's yeah, there's another one on the way. I guess actually two on the way down here. Who knew we were playing a uh, adventure game now? 
Not really. Although Factorio is an adventure game, would be interesting. Alright, so we'll head to the first of the green dots. Ooh, some solar panels. Okay, so that luckily the nanobots do not see it as an entity to destroy, which is good. <gasps> nope, yes they do. They 100% do. Oh no, I really hope we did not accidentally destroy four when we were on that coal field. Because if you remember earlier when we looked, it appeared to be four. I, I'm hoping now that it was not four that we destroyed. That would have been really sad. Or as my friend who plays Valorant says, Sag. Because a sage. Yeah. Pretty bad. Yes, yeah, so we have to eat it before the nanobots can eat it. Luckily right now we actually outrange the nanobots we have, so that's good. Uh, let's see. There are a few... Oh, there's four more up here we can grab. So let's go ahead and do that. We're just flying through research now again, which is good. Kind of playing catch-up. Thought I saw one. That looks like here's the... A lot of swamp ones, it appears. Which I'm okay with. Um, I, I'm not entirely sure the ones we need. So I'm just kind of grabbing all of them. I mean, I'm sure we're going to need all of them at some point. Um, or maybe want all of them. I don't know if we have to do any sort of crossbreeding, so... Yeah, I guess that's a good thing we're getting them now. Ooh. So here's a case of we need to find it before it gets eaten. Because it still exists. Yep, see it's right here. It was hiding. Oh yeah. There are ooh, there's a lot of inserters over here and another car. Let's grab all of them. And some nice assembler machines. I really will say, I mean the ruins mod I guess could be looked at as giving you an unfair advantage, because I guess in theory you could just go around and harvest all these things, but is it really worth your time to go around and harvest every single one of them? Probably not. But is it worth it to go around and, you know, if you're already expanding that way or what have you, it, it kind of, in my opinion, makes a little bit of sense. Look at that, we're all the way back up where, where it needed to be anyway. Alright, so it looks like this one has finished. So let's go ahead and take our samples. Let's go ahead and throw the rest in there as well. Uh, let's see, yeah, so some of these look like... Spicy seems to yell at you. Interesting. So let's grab the remaining plant life samples. Awesome. Right, so we're gonna go ahead and cancel all of those just real fast. Uh, where is... Power processing. Farming. This one. Okay. So now I'm curious, is this made in a lab? Oh, actually, we're going to need science anyways. Let's head up there, I guess. I'm not sure how we research it, because eh, there, there might be slots in the laboratory for it. If there aren't slots in it, then it has its own special lab. Which I know the modules do, which is fine. Okay, good. Ah, and power's off. And power's back on. Alright. Um... Yes, okay, so there is room for the samples. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put them in these four, first four. And I am gonna move away just in case anybody does have any sort of uh, light afflictions that could cause potential seizures and we'll move away from the, the laboratories. Uh, yeah, so now it's working. Luckily we don't need too many. Um, and we should be able to get all the way to this one as well. I don't know what these environmental kits do. I wonder, anybody who's ever played Fallout, uh, I want to say it's the Gek, the Garden of Eden kit. That's what I think it's, uh, I think what that thing's called. Or Garden of Eden creation kit. That That's what it's called, a Gek. 
from Fallout. I wonder if that's what it is. Uh, like we put it down and it spawns us a swamp biome. I'm not sure. Um, definitely curious though to see what see what that does. Uh, well, that's doing its thing. Well, I guess you know we could queue that up as well. And why not? Let's queue that up while we're waiting here. We definitely will not have enough uh, samples in the lab currently, um, but hopefully we should have some more down in the bottom. Definitely not the most eventful episode, unfortunately, but hey, sometimes the episodes aren't as eventful as others. But it, it is a new mod we're learning, so there's that. We're learning together, and these are still both going. Is it because of power? No, power's fine. Okay, they're just incredibly slow. Yeah, these these are things we will, uh, we'll see. We'll definitely get them done. Perhaps we'll do some other things while we wait for mainly research and some other stuff. So what's the next? Ooh, we can always work on robots. Robots are always fun. Or power armor. Power is also a good one. So many things. Nice, right, so let's take a little look around the factory and see what we can improve. Definitely iron. Oh, didn't we get the the new Yes, we did. We did get the new silicon. Okay, well that's actually something maybe we'll work on next episode. Is get the silicon functioning. And then probably at the start of next week. Assuming research isn't done yet, uh, we'll start on upgrading the iron to do the better iron. And then this should be pretty full, if not a full belt. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Alright. So yeah, so then I guess between episodes what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get all the stuff I need for the silicon. And then prioritize getting that going. And then, in the, oh no, we're out of fuel. And then in the next episode, uh, I didn't want to put all my inventory in it. And then in the next episode, episode number 50. Jeez, we're already on episode 50? I cannot believe it. We will go ahead and prioritize getting our... I'll just drive away a little bit so you don't see the sparklies. Um, we'll prioritize getting the iron itself upgraded. Probably next episode. You know what? We might actually have enough of these um, samples. We'll see. There we go. And there should be swamp farming number one. Perfect. Okay, so now that we have swamp farming number one, let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do now. So we can go ahead and make the zombie. Which requires mud in the seed. Well, to make the seed, we need this. Well, there's got to be a way to actually get it, right? So, um, yes. So, if we do swamp seed extraction... We have a chance to get one. Right, so I'm going to take the rest of these then. So how, what do we need to do to do swamp seed extraction? In a seed extractor, of course. Right, well, I'm going to make five of these then, because I'm guessing we're going to need quite a few. We'll go ahead and just put, put it down like a so. We'll go ahead and do the swamp seed extraction. Then we'll go ahead and put those in. And so this looks like it's going to give us half as many plant life samples. Which is still good that we're getting them. But the main thing we want is to get the zombie seed. I believe it's, yeah, this one. Luckily, it also looks like we're going to get some other seeds, so depending on what they're used for, as well. And just so I don't have to wait as long, I'm going to go ahead and get a second one going as well for these.
Nice. So it looks like, yep, so that one's almost done. That one's also almost done, and then these two just started. How, how long actually do these recipes take? 300 seconds. Oh my lord, I did not even see that. That is not something I... Okay. Well then, definitely we're going to have to get beacons just for that. Which is funny, because we need to get modules, which need this, oddly, but... Uh, the circle doesn't stop going around, huh? Watch, there's probably some simpler way of getting the modules that I'm not seeing or didn't bother looking at. Let me just double check speed... Nope, yep, uh, yep, only product of this, which, yep, happens to, you know, be that, which happens to come from that, which happens to, yeah. Yeah, okay, so, we're, we're pretty much forced to go through this method, unfortunately. We got a crystal seed, oh, oh, good lord, oh. That's a lot of things. None of which are the things we currently need. Oh, and research has now stopped. Awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and head back down to the research area. Or, well, I say down to the research area, but head back down to the bio bioprocessing area. Go ahead and pick up the things we need, and then we'll head back up to the research labs. Awesome. So now we gotta... Go ahead and grab all our little uh, doodads. The swamp seed, or, well, not swamp seed, but alien plant life sample. Plant life sample. And then we'll head, uh, head up, throw them in the labs, and then I guess see what we need for the uh, silica. Silicon? Silica? Extraction method? Awesome. Right. I guess we can just move the vehicle there and use the map. Nope, uh, cancel. Alright, uh, so it looks like we need five chemical furnaces, two pellet press, three ore processors, two ore crushers, and a blast furnace. That borderline sounds like the 12 Days of Christmas song, not gonna lie. Five blast furnace, three ore crushers, two some things and a blast furnace and a whole lot of whatever the hell was in that thing sodium hydroxide i think all right um so let's see do i even have any resources on me to make any of these things i can make the two pellet presses let's go we're awesome we're amazing chat i am so used to saying chat that uh yeah. Sorry, YouTube, but I get you guys mixed up with Twitch sometimes. Speaking of Twitch, if you haven't already, go check out our Twitch channel. Link is in the description. We, uh, we've been streaming on Hell Let Loose, some Overwatch recently. Uh, Overwatch 2, I guess I should specify. Some RimWorld. Just, just depends. Mainly we've been doing Hell Let Loose, though. So if you guys are interested in a first-person, historically accurate shooter, uh, in case the most recent Battlefields and Call of Duties have been not up to par, uh, I do highly recommend it. It is an amazing game. Uh, so let's see. So we got the two, so let's go ahead and one, two, three. Oh, you know what? I should probably check and make sure that they're not like tier two or something. Yeah, tier one, tier one. Five of those. Awesome. So we... Okay, so those, those are all that. Let's go ahead and get the one blast furnace. Also checking. Awesome. And we need green circuits. Okay, so let's go ahead over to green circuit land at the end of the bus. And unfortunately, it is that time again. Hope you guys all enjoyed the episode. Hope you guys have also been enjoying the series. And if you have, make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on the video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. All those fun things. Really, really helps out the channel as it does help the videos get out there further and for more people to enjoy them. 
And uh, the more people enjoy them, the, the more likely I am to do some other series as well. Other than that, I will see you guys in the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.